I have owned the Seastar S50 for several months, and I have just brought it with me on an 11 hours flight to Australia to test it out in darker skies. In this video, I will share my experience traveling with the S50, the images it took down south, as well as the result of a quick one minute processing, which can easily be done on the field to make the image from good to wow. Initially, I was a bit concerned if I will run into any issues with custom and security. Since there is a LiPo battery inside the S50, I can only put it into a carry-on. Even with its relatively odd shape, look, and size, it did not have any issue going through security check and the x-ray machines. The protective case that I bought was extremely good and I would highly recommend it for anyone traveling with the S50. It's lightweight, almost a perfect fit for the S50 and snuggled perfectly into my backpack. The bulky case that comes with the S50 is left at home and I can separately pack the tripod into the check-in bags to minimize the weight of the carry-on. I also need my camera and spare batteries, as well as my Garmin Automotive GPS in the backpack. Google navigation will not be reliable outside of cities in Australia, given the limited coverage outside of urban areas. I managed to fit everything in a 38-liter backpack with room to spare. To keep the carry-on within airline allowable limit, all other gears, like tripods, filters and lens, goes into the check baggage and drone will have to stay home. Okay, so much for the packing and traveling. I must say that I am very impressed with what the S50 can do. And let me show you the unprocessed images directly downloaded from the S50. I have not noticed any difference in using the S50 in the Northern Hemisphere or South. Finding the object and focusing time is pretty similar and tracking is not an issue. One thing I realized is that the closer you get the S50 to perfectly leveled, the less images it will throw out when stacking. Based on my estimate, the S50 will keep 20 to 30% of the images if the leveling indicator is more than 0.8, and it will keep 50% or more if the leveling indicator is less than 0.5. The difference will get worse as the S50 stays on the same object for longer. So, I think one of those tripod leveler is worthwhile. I will be interested to know if other users have similar experience and if there is any meaningful improvements if the S50 is perfectly leveled. To quickly look at the potential result on post-processing, I have found an easy method which I can do right on my phone in one minute using Lightroom free app and share it while I am still on the field. When you are out on the road, you might not have the time nor the equipment to stack and process the image, and this method will help quickly process an image. Let me show you how the processing can be done. First, open Lightroom on your phone. Import the image you want to edit into Lightroom. Let's select the Raste Nebula. Under Edit, select Auto Level, Adjust Exposure, Contrast, Highlight and Shadow. Select Color, Adjust White Balance and Tint, and you are done. Let's do one more. Select the image. Adjust Exposure Contrast Highlight and Shadow Crop as needed And that is it For comparison, I have put unprocessed image side by side with a quick one minute processing enhancement. Even though the processing can be better, I think it's already very good considering that it's just take less than one minute and done directly on the phone 